walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 In the door, make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. It's looking like Amir Khan can live to get knocked out another day. See, yesterday, the WBC released their rankings and shit. Amir Khan failed to sign up for the clean athlete program where he would get random tested. And he was stripped of his mandatory shot at Danny Garcia. BoxingScene.com reached out to the president of the WBC and he confirmed this. Earlier today, Amir Khan reached out to the WBC president and um, he's going to give him a second chance. He's going to, Amir Khan is going to enroll in a clean athlete program and they're going to work shit out. So we get to see Amir Khan get knocked out again because this all is going to happen when he come back to fight. Don't expect him to do shit special. He might not even go for Danny Garcia, man. This motherfucker all talk. For all we know, this is just another reason for him to be in a fucking media. You know, give him a reason to be relevant so he can come around us and talk and shit again. Oh, I don't give a fuck about what you got to say. All you want to do is fight light punches now at 147, and then you want to do stupid shit, make dumbass fucking decisions. Turning down big money fights for a... Look, these motherfuckers nowadays in, in boxing, they do um, high reward, low risk type shit. This motherfucker is doing low reward, high risk. Just because motherfucker Kardashian wants some attention. Motherfucker look like, oh yeah, man, you can make $12 million, American, 8 million pounds for the Kell Brook fight. $12 million for Kell Brook at 147. You gonna take your ass up to 155 for $2 million for a far more dangerous fight. Who the fuck do that? And then Max Kellerman asked you that shit on that face off and you look like a fucking dumbass. Yeah, man, it's a bigger fight. So, you know, I, I like challenging myself now, nah, motherfucker. You just rather get knocked out by Canelo because you can make some fucking excuses. That's why you took that fight. Because you was in the news today making motherfucking excuses. Fucking dumbass. And let's get into this excuse that he made, man. He said he don't regret it. He don't regret moving up and wait to fight Canelo and getting knocked out like that in front of everybody. Here was his statement. To be honest with you, I thought it was a great experience for me. I always thought about what would happen if I moved up a weight. I moved up a weight and it wasn't for me. You always have to respect weight categories and that's something I just realized now. Canelo was a big guy. He came to the ring weighing around 180, almost touching 190. I came to the ring weighing 160 and I, it just wasn't for me. I wasn't strong enough. I watched the fight back again and I could see when I was throwing those punches that nothing was affecting him. I'm going to go back to my natural weight of 147. I'm still the WBC number one at that weight and where I can hopefully go for that title. Amir Khan's statement. You know, I found all kind of lies in your statement, to be honest. You know, how the fuck do you know he was almost 190? He'd been running around here saying that Canelo was 185 in that fight. You don't know that. They didn't weigh in the night of the fight. Neither fighter. And dude, you said you was going to be like 165 on fight night. You said that in a build up to the fight. Now you went into the fight weighing around 160. You know what I'm saying? More excuses, man. You know, stop fucking lying. If you're going to lie about the, the weight that you go in the ring weighing and shit, then maybe you will lie about the weight that Canelo was, was weighing just to make it sound good. You don't regret that shit, bro. You was looking like a bitch. You was looking like a motherfucking bitch in that post-fight interview. Trying to get Triple G to fight your battles for you. And then Virgil Hunter come up behind you and he, he defending the, the little hoe ass shit that you saying. Looking like a father taking up for his son. You looking like you about to cry. Motherfuckers got to wake you up and shit. You look like a fucking dumbass. Because you is a dumbass. You got what the fuck you deserve. Like I told y'all before, man. I ain't never been so happy to see somebody get knocked out as I was watching Amir Khan get knocked out by Canelo. I was happy as fuck. Bury that motherfucker. Fuck him. You do stupid shit and you don't give me the fights that I want to see. I really wanted to see you fight Kell Brook. If not Kell Brook, a lot of people were saying they wanted to see you fight Danny Garcia. So if not Danny Gar uh, if not Kell Brook, then go fight Danny Garcia. No, you take the Canelo fight. We want to see Canelo fight Triple G. We want to see you fight... Kell Brook and um, 
Canelo, you know, a lot of people feel like he was the problem with the Triple G fight. You could talk money, whatever. But, you know, he was avoiding his mandatory, man. And Amir Khan was a challenger. The champion is calling you out and willing to pay you more money than him as the defending champion. You refused to take that fight. And then you ran up there to fight Canelo for less money. You got knocked the fuck out. You don't regret that? Who the fuck want to get embarrassed like that, bro? I would hate to get knocked out cold around five people on the streets. You got knocked out cold in front of the entire world, man. You know, all of these rappers and these celebrities that they take that you taking pictures with, I guarantee you they don't know who the fuck you is. They looking at you just like you a fanboy or something. Hi, I'm Amir Khan. I'm a boxer. Oh, yeah, really? Okay. Here, yeah, you can get a picture. They don't know who the fuck you is, because if they did, they'd be clowning your ass, man. You the most famous boxer in the world for getting knocked out. I ain't never seen no shit like this, man. Dude, you the, you the most famous glass jaw in boxing history. And to make it worse, you got a big ass fucking mouth. You don't know when to shut the fuck up. And you still talk shit and get knocked out all the time. Why the fuck is you in the news talking about you going to beat Danny Garcia? And if Keith Thurman beat Danny Garcia, then you will beat Keith Thurman and give Danny Garcia his rematch and then fucking beat him. Like, dudes, you get knocked out by both of those fighters. Get knocked out by every fucking body. Every time you step up, you get knocked the fuck out. Taking pictures with these motherfuckers, man. I wish these motherfuckers knew who the fuck you was. I bet you as soon as you walk away or like the next day somebody tell them who the fuck you is and they watch you get knocked out and laugh at your ass like the clown that you is, man. Because you a motherfucking clown. You make motherfuckers enjoy watching you get knocked out. You know, like when Pacquiao got knocked out by Marquez, you know, I wasn't really rooting against Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? I really didn't have nothing against him like that. I just wanted to see a good fight. I was shocked when I saw him get knocked out. First, you know, I was like, damn, oh shit. You know, like hype about it. Like, wow. You know, but immediately, I mean, seconds after that, you know, shocked and excited emotions came. Seconds after that, I was concerned. Like, damn, I hope he's okay. Amir Khan, this is like, fuck you, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to die, but, you know, I don't give a fuck. That's like how I felt. <laughs> I was laughing. You know, you were still breathing. Your eyes was open. I could tell you was alive, but, you know, I didn't really give a fuck. You create that. You know, about running your fucking mouth. Motherfuckers don't give a fuck if, if you okay or not. Knock his ass out again. Wake him up. Knock him out again. I've seen motherfuckers do it on the streets. Do it in the boxing ring. Fuck them. Running your mouth talking all this shit. Talking shit about fighters that done already knocked you out. But in fact, you hating on Danny Garcia. He done knocked you out. And um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then you hating on Canelo immediately after the fight. I mean, you just woke up. He needs to stop ducking Triple G, you know, and grow some balls. Because I grew some balls. Yeah, you a dumbass motherfucker. Triple G needs to stop pricing himself out. But don't worry about that. That ain't none of your motherfucking business. Take your ass back to Pakistan. You came over here to America and got knocked out. Flat out. This is Amir Khan versus Canelo. Not, oh, I'm going to get knocked out by Canelo. And then I'm going to try to get Triple G to fight my battles for me. No. You know what I'm saying? And then start talking shit about him not having balls after he knocked you out. And then you're going to talk some shit about Danny Garcia, you know, fighting for the belt when you just did some stupid ass shit. You could have fought for that fucking belt or you could have fought Danny Garcia for that belt. You didn't have to go and fight Canelo. You could have fought Danny Garcia, but you chose to fight Canelo. And then you're going to talk shit about him. Two fighters that have knocked you out talking shit about him, man. So since they gave him his mandatory shot back, we can look forward to seeing Amir Khan get knocked out again because that's all that's going to happen. Whenever he fight an A-level fighter, you fight anybody good, you get knocked the fuck out. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a cool fuck with you.